The McLaren update is finally here in Driving Empire. We have new brand McLaren, 17 McLaren cars, biggest release ever, unique stock options for all McLaren, gradient options for lots of McLarens, McLaren exclusive car back, and so much more. But before we check out this update, make sure to subscribe and drop a like in this video. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Unfortunately, there were four McLaren removals right here. The 2023 LeBaron 8LM. Oh, uh, that's like the Senna LM, I believe. 1990 LeBaron E2 JSB. I think that was like a McLaren P1 or F1 GTR. 2018 LeBaron 8 Track. No clue which one that was. 2023 LeBaron Ayrton A. No clue which one that was. All unfortunate removals, but I got 23 mil. I'm not complaining. And we got license in McLaren. So, oh my god. There is so many McLarens in here. This is madness. Licensed vehicles. New vehicles. No, new. Do I own all of them? Ooh, this one's new. The 2017 McLaren 720S Coupe. Alright, I need to purchase this. We'll get to it in a minute, though. First off, 2020... Did I say 2023? No. 2013 McLaren MP412C Spider. Um, 115,000, okay. 2015 McLaren 570S Coupe. 145,000. 2019 McLaren GT, 170,000. 2019 McLaren 600 LT Coupe. I'm losing my voice. 220,000. Um, what do we got? 2023 McLaren Artura, 230,000. 2020 McLaren 600 LT Spider. Oh, I like these rims. Wow. Okay. 240,000. Look at this paint. That looks different. I like it. Okay. 2017 McLaren 720S Coupe, 245,000. It's the only one I'm missing. 2015 McLaren 675 LT Coupe, 265,000. 2019 McLaren 620R, 300,000. 2020 McLaren 765 LT Coupe, 460,000. 2022 McLaren 765 LT Spider, 520,000. 2018 McLaren Senna, 1.3 million. Oh my god, my voice is dying. 2015 McLaren P1 trademarked. Keep in mind, trademarked, that's interesting. 1.6 million. 2019 McLaren Elva, 2.3 million. 2020 McLaren Speedtail, 2.9 million. This update's crazy. We're still going. 2023 McLaren Solus GT, 15.5 million. And the 1993 McLaren F1, 20 million. Holy. What excites me the most, though, is this car right here. This is going to be a track weapon. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, this thing is crazy on the track. So, we're, we're taking this on the track, and my voice is dying. Let's go ahead, upgrade, and spec out all these cars. Oh, and I almost forgot the McLaren exclusive pack. 1.4K Robux. You get the McLaren Elba and that racing McLaren. If you already own those cars, though, from back before they were licensed, then you don't have to spend Robux on them. So, keep that in mind. Um, but, yeah, let's go ahead and see. Let's look at how crazy this looks. Oh, my God. Look at how many McLarens we got in my inventory. Let me favorite this. Favorite that. Favorite this. Favorite that. Oh, oops. Didn't mean to spawn it. Oh, they removed all my specs. That's unfortunate. I had all these specced out before it was licensed. Um, That sucks. I lost all my specs. Uh, let me just double check if that was just one car or all of them. Oh, no. All my specs were reset on this update. Okay. But it's cool, I guess, because like now I get some stock specs to play around with, I guess. So... This is going to take me a while to upgrade all these and stuff. So yeah, let me just go ahead and do that. This is interesting. Look at how customization works. So 2019 McLaren Elba. Standard Elite MSO. These are color options. So standard colors. Okay. Those are like the ones that I'm guessing are promoted for this car. Then we got Elite. So these are like some other color options that aren't promoted on this car, I'm guessing. Pretty cool. Then we got MSO. These are like all the special colors. I'm liking these blues. Which one do I like most though? Hmm. I don't know. I like a lot of blue colors. I'm feeling this one, though. Ambit blue. Looks pretty lit. Um, yeah. Then we gotta go to wraps. Uh, oh, gradients. Oh! Oh my, yes! Okay, so, hold up. We can do carbon. Matte carbon. Or this, the MSO Pacific Color Stream. Yes! I'm taking the MSO Pacific Color Stream. Heck yeah, man. This spec is killer. Look at me. Look at me with this spec. Holy, I love it. All right, check out this crazy spec I just put on the race car. So we got the R here in blue, I noticed. So then I made the paint match with blue, calipers match with blue, and even the interior can match with blue. I love this spec. This is sick. Blue, blue, blue. And then we got the white accent. Looks killer. 
Let me go ahead and make sure it's all upgraded. All right, McLaren F1 spec, next spec. Speed tail is now spec. All right, just got done with the Solus GT spec. On to the next spec. Check this out on the P1. We have a stock option of the black exhaust tip. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep it like this though, because this is a real life spec. It got flooded in Florida. So as a Floridian, I feel like I gotta have this spec. Okay, the Senna has a lot of options. Check this out. So for interior trim, you're gonna have a steering wheel interior color. No clue what that does, but we'll see. And then extended color. Um, I don't think I need to change that. I kind of like my interior as it is. Um, spoilers. Body color Senna logo. Oh, yes. Let's get that installed. Exterior carbon. Whoa. We can do different carbons. Oh, that's sick. I got to do something crazy. Blue tinted carbon. Okay, hear me out. We got blue tinted carbon. Then we go paint elite Vega blue. I'm making a real spec here. This is the Shmi 150 spec. Interior. Okay, let's go. I'm going to change it up a bit though. Uh, interior. All right. What if I try to make that carbon fiber blue? Eh, I don't think I can do it. Never mind. All right, but look at this. Okay, it doesn't look as good in here, but let me just put on a license plate that's darker. There we go. If we leave here, it should all flow together a lot better. Yeah, look at this. So, we got my blue carbon out here. Pretty sick. Senna logo. All right, you know, there's just so many McLarens, so many lower models. I don't even know if I can go through all them today. Let me just go ahead and click on this real quick and see, you know, what MSO options we got, stock options. Okay, that's a lot of stuff, actually. I knew this car would have a lot. That's why I'm going with it. We're going to throw on titanium exhaust real quick. Oh, look at this. Comfort seat, P1 seat, Alcantara, Senna, Senna Alcantara. I'm getting those. Those are sick. Okay, um, roll cage. You can get a roll cage. All right, um, why not? Spoilers, carbon spoiler. Why not? Roof, MSO carbon. Why not? This is insane. Okay, bonnets, MSO carbon. Yes, I want all of it. Okay, this is amazing. So, this one has tons of customization. I don't know what else does. That's for you to find out. Oh my god, guys. I was about to be done customizing. Look at how beautiful this is. This carbon fiber here. And it gets better. Oh, that is my dream spec right there. Beautiful. Well, not exactly, but basically, we're doing the carbon on this one, right? And then we'll go here. Swap vehicles. And then we'll go McLaren. Where's the convertible variant? Right here. Okay. We can go appearance, gradients. Let's get it on the convertible variant. Oh, yes. I love this. Look at this. What, what happened there? I don't know. We'll ignore that. I'm, I'm in love with this spec. All right, right now we're in the crazy 765 LT, and all my days can this car drift. This is definitely a great drift build. Check me out, bro. Oh my God, you just saw that. Holy. That was a 360. Wow. <laughs> Another 360? Nearly? Oh, well, okay. I want to take the hypercars and see their top speeds, starting with the F1 because when this car came out in real life, this was the world's fastest car. So let me make sure we got a top speed build and then we'll see what the top speed is. All right, we got a top speed build on this car. Let's see this top speed. McLaren F1 was the world record for top speed. So in game, it can go 289 miles per hour without boost, with boost, 316. Keep in mind, this isn't anymore the world's fastest car. Maybe. 30 or so years ago, let me see if I'm right. Yeah, 30 years ago, fastest car in the world, but dang, that's crazy. Okay, what else? What other hypercars? Um, Speed Tail, it talks about speed in the name. Better be fast, let's see. We can go to a th 300 faster, whoa. Whoa, 301 miles per hour without boost. With boost, oh my God, 328, this is fast. Holy fast. Um, What else, Senna, why not? Let's see the Senna. Honestly, I kind of liked the blue carbon a minute ago. I don't know if I like the blue carbon as much anymore, but look, oh my, this is definitely a drift build. Let me fix that. All right, Senna's no longer a drift build and we're back to black carbon because I just prefer it like this. Looks like we can go 259 without boost with boost, 286, more of a track car. Speaking of the track, it's time to go take some cars to the track, man. Let me go ahead and pick a few. So. What do I got? What are my picks for the track today? What am I taking out? Solus. This got to go to the track. Also, I want to see the top speed real quick. 
Um, yeah, this one's definitely more of a track car, so I don't know about top speed. Why is it getting stuck one way? Okay, here we go. 277, 304, okay, yeah. Not a top speed car, more of a track car. We're taking it to the track, though. So, Solus has got to go to the track. What else has got to go to the track? Honestly, I might just do the Solus. I'll pick one after we do a race. All right, we're on the track in the Solus. Let's see what this car is made of. I'm expecting something really impressive out of it, so let's go ahead and see. This is, I mean, literally supposed to be the craziest track McLaren, McLaren has ever made. So, hopefully, this thing can do good. Keep in mind, I'm a terrible driver. Terrible driver right here, so just remember that. Um, Not doing too bad, though, from the start. Feels very nice. I like it. It's attracted the walls, though. I don't like that, but besides that, it feels good. But yeah, this thing's definitely a wall magnet. For some reason, it just grabs onto the walls. Um, I guess I'll see you all at the end of the race. I gotta lock in. Can this car please let go of these walls? Oh my god, it keeps grabbing the wall. Why? Why is this car attracted to the wall? I wonder. Because, like, I know I'm bad at driving, but I would be able to tell if it's my driving or if it's something wrong with the car. And I can tell this car is attracted to walls. And, oh my god, we just missed the checkpoint. Yep. Ah, that was that was me, bro. That wasn't the car. That was just me trying to stay away from the walls. Um, But, yeah. Oh my god, we missed another checkpoint, bro. That might have been my worst rage yet with that. Oh my god, but dang, this is annoying, bro. This car, it's too good for me. I think the handling's so good, I'm not used to it. I know that sounds stupid, but like, I don't know. Honestly, I'm just making excuses at this point, aren't I? I just can't drive. Um, Yeah, I'll just face it. I can't drive, you all know that. All right, here we go. We finished in three minutes. With a good driver, 2 minutes 30 seconds, or we'll, uh, maybe maybe more like 2 minutes 45 with a good driver. How about that? Alright, that's everything for this new driving and power update. Comment down below what your favorite car in the update was. For me, it might be these 765 LTs just because of all the customization possible. But yeah, drop a like if you enjoyed this video. I would truly appreciate it. Subscribe, ring that notification bell so you never miss another upload. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.